Welcome everybody. This is Mikael from HealthWise Enterprise, the health food store. It's located at 3807 East 8 Mile Road. This unusual time for me to come on the set, but this is unusual times that we're living in and experiencing in. And our sisters are experiencing worse than I ever thought. I've been in business doing this for 30 years, but I didn't know until January just how detrimental our sisters go through the changes they go through every once a once a month sometime one day sometime five or six days i'm happy to report that these brothers who started this company have turned me on to a solution yes and this brother that came on the air and just blew everybody out the water about three weeks ago he went viral he, we have him here at WHPR, which we will have these pads. We got the pads right here at WHPR. But what I'm finding out is much bigger than these pads. It's called a movement. A now we know movement. And we got the brother I mean. I know that's his middle name, but I just like brother I mean because he <laughs> mean business. <laughs> so <laughs> welcome you to Detroit, the WHPR, Thank you, brother. brother. Thank you, I appreciate you having me. Here, so. Man, 50 million, 70 million. I heard all kind of crazy numbers <laughs> on media, man. What's going on? Tell us. Man, I couldn't even start. I, it, I, honestly, it was really organic. So it's I'm really not even realizing how detrimental and how massive this is because even coming down here when i'm in the airport there was a woman was like that's him i seen him i seen I, that's you yes. was on you was on you was on the yes. videos you know yes. like yeah but, you know so you know coming from not being a celebrity not being a person that's on tv to now you go to the get gas yes. people start recognizing you yes and thanking you yes for exposing what's really going on in women's lives yes Yes, mm -hmm. we all thank you. We thank you. And the brothers that started this, I want to thank them too. Oh, absolutely. I, yeah. Now, let me give a little uh, shout outs to them brothers. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Starting off with our CEOs, Mr. Spencer Iverson. This man is one of, the, one, of the, one of the 40 most powerful people in the land. He was in a magazine. Wow. Spencer Iverson, man, they call him the genius. He's the CEO of Inspire Network, the company that created the Cherish Premium Sanitary Napkins. Yes. Then we have uh, Mr. Joel Medina who was actually the creator of the Cherish Premium Sanitary Napkins. Yes. Then we have our Global Director of sale, Sales, Mr. Uh, Demond Coleman. Yes. Mr. Demond Coleman single-handedly seen Mr. Joel in Asia. Okay. On another, he was on another, he was going to do another deal, which he declined. But being as though they knew each other in the industry, he showed them the product. It was a yes. demo at the time. Yes. He said, man, I hit him over the head so hard with the pillow because I said, that's what I was looking for. Wow. When he seen the demo, yes. he said, that's it. So Mr. Demond Coleman, our global director of sales, is single-handedly responsible for bringing this product to the United States. I, I am so happy. Then I got one more. Okay. I don't want to leave out my man. I, we literally have the director of uh, field training and field development, Mr. Demond Crump. This man yes. literally is a legend in the field of direct sales. When I tell you, his, he had the first video out with the demonstration, yes. which went viral as well. Yeah. So actually, I'm just mimicking one of my mentors, Mrs. Demond Crump. <laughs> man, what, what, what's a little bit about your background? Because we hear <laughs> all about the past and the movement, but what a little, just a little bit about you. Just a little your, bit, like, just a little, a little something, little, something. something. <laughs> I mean, I got to be honest because it's already out there in social media because I, I believe in transparency. In 93, I was tried and sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. Okay. I had one of the largest drug organizations in South Philadelphia to date. In 97, I won my first appeal, got it down to 40 years. And then in 2002, I was blessed to get another appeal and got it down to 24 years. Okay. I did 21 straight years in the federal penitentiary. Okay. So when I came home September 4th, 19, uh, I mean 2014, I vowed to my daughters that I would never leave them. So I knew I wasn't going back into the streets. Because I became an essence best-selling author in, in prison. Okay. I wrote an HIV awareness book. It's called Convicts Candy. Okay. And I wrote another book called Boy Toys about bipolar disorder in the African-American community. So I always like to deal with touchy situations. Yes, yes. So when I came home, I knew my debt to society started when I came home. Not mm -hmm. the 21 years that I did in the prison. I had to rebuild the, the, the community that I destroyed when I was in, in the streets with that foolishness. Mm -hmm. That was my, my goal. Man, 
I commend you on just making a chance. Only person I do is did something like that at this scale was the guy who helped Muhammad Ali. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but um, yes. what's keeping you going, man? I mean, you just kind of hit on a little bit your daughters. And to be transparent to you, when my wife used to come see me in prison, she had an accident. Mm. And I asked the, the, the guard, I said, can I walk behind my wife to the bathroom? He said, Mr. Meadows, sit down. Mm. I said, excuse me, my wife had an accident. Her, her menstrual flow came on, and she needs to go clean up. She just drove eight hours to see me. He said, you asked me again, I'm going to terminate your visit. Sit down. You know how humili humiliating that is as a man? Mm. I can't even protect my wife to mm. just walk behind her, not even eight feet. So if I can help one woman to never have that embarrassment or one man to never be humiliated like that, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. My mission is accomplished. I love it. I love it. These things, that movement that you talk about for your personal yes. desire yes. is the way I felt. And that's why we're here on WHPR. Yes, I've been yes. here doing 16 years or whatever. RJ is thank you. RJ is never here in the morning. I have a nine to ten o'clock show, WHPR. Yes. He was here that morning and I was talking about wow. this pads and and what they doing to the woman's vagina or what I call the crystal court, the doorway <laughs> from heaven to here. Right. And I you like gonna that. mess that up? <laughs> oh I'm mad. I'm mad. I like oh, that. No. I like that. <laughs> you That's know. Right. I like that. And uh he heard all of that and he got his daughters. I couldn't get out the door. He said, man, wow. whatever this is, I want in on it. Wow. So we just, you know, made it happen. My my sponsor who's been really supporting me, who's here, we got a whole artist for the woman, Batia. She came up here with Maxine, yes. and they sat down, showed the demo, and Maxine was just blown away. She was blown away like I was. <laughs> And I'm a man, you know, I right. ain't never seen nothing like, I ain't never talked about this, but at my store, mm. I sold two of these pants to some brothers. Wow. Monty said, she ain't never seen nothing like that before. Wow. But it's just the passion, okay? And so, the movement, we couldn't even get into the movement. The solution, could just a little bit about that, because we got about a couple minutes, and wow. I want to bring these some of these sisters up absolutely. here. Absolutely, absolutely. The we can't, we can't forget about the Now We Know campaign. That is the solution. Because once we bring the awareness with the solution, the solution also provides, I mean, the uh, awareness also provides the solution. Yes. So it's nowweknow.net. This is where we push the campaign that's changing the, the faces of everything. Like you said, as men, we're having a discussion about sanitary napkins. Yes. And it's cool. Yes. We're taking pictures with sanitary napkins. Yes. Versus going to the store wanting to hide them and all that. Yes. You know? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. So the Now We Know campaign provided a, a comfort, a comfortability for men to deal with their wives. Yes. For men to deal with their daughters. For men to deal with their mothers and aunts, the females that they love. Yes. So this Now We Know campaign yes. is literally the campaign of the century. Folks, we got the pass here at WHPR. You can give a phone number, 313-868-6612. We got the pass at HealthWise. Yes. You can give me a call, 313-600-8532. I want to thank you, bro, but thank I'm you. Bitch, I'm, you're not through. <laughs> I'm through. We're going to be right back. Just give us a couple minutes, y'all. I just love all of this, thank man. You, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> Now we know. 
I'm Maxine Willis right here in the studio, and I hope that you are just as excited as we are to hear about this innovative product. One of the things that this station takes great pride in, and that is our president is always looking for opportunities, ways that we can uplift and enhance the quality of life for children, families, and the community at large. And that's why we're excited to have this special today, and we're in the house with, I don't think they got into why they call you the <laughs> champ, but I'm sitting next to the champ. And you just heard his story, his passion, his commitment, his dedication. But tell us, why do they call you the champ? They call me the champ because after my, my video went viral, everyone in the company, business exploded. People who they talked to once, three months ago, started calling, I seen this video. Was that what you were talking to me about? Was that So I'm like the champion. I'm like the people's champ. Because everyone in Inspire Network, every literally every distributor, their businesses boost like 10 to 15 times the, where it was at. So that's why they everybody like, they was playing first. It's like, oh, you the champ, you the people's champ. But then I started thinking like, wow. And they just caught on. Everybody just called me, they go the champ, the champ is here, the champ is here. So that's how I just took off. It's like a kuno. <laughs> what would you say, just it, it, in a nutshell, what would you say to really inspire people to understand what this movement is all about and why it's so critically important? One question. Do you have a woman in your life that you love or care about that if you, if you had information, would you share it with them? That's it. That's the question. And it's that simple. Because if you got a woman in your life you love, I don't care if it's a sister, mother, girlfriend, co-worker, church member, you, you name it. If you love or care about them, you got to share this message. Because it's literally life-changing. Absolutely. And that's why we're excited because that's what this station is all about. Life-changing opportunities. And sitting next to the champ, we have Miss Sharon Steele. Yes. And she's going to tell us about a real exciting event that's going to take place right here in the city of Detroit tomorrow. Miss Steele, tell us about yes, that. thank you. Um, well, we're going to have an event where you get to see the champ, but also the understanding the mission and the purpose of Now We Know. Yes. So it's going to be at 19410 Livernois Avenue on the Avenue of Fashion at the pop-up shop. Um, the registration is at 630. The actual meeting starts at 7 p.m. So we would love for everyone to come out. You'll be able to get samples of the product and also understand the real purpose behind what we're doing. It, and, and you said they'll be able to understand the real purpose the, of, wh uh, of, of, of what, why, of why, what? why we know now. Of why we know now. But just tell them, give them a little sneak preview right <laughs> now. <laughs> give them a little sneak preview. Well, actually, for me, uh, my why for this, um, me, I have no first cousins because my mom's children, my mom's sisters couldn't have any children. I can't say that I can't blame anyone cause, but we never knew why. So I have, and it's all female. So once we decease, we, our lineage is gone. Wow. So wow. that really moved me because I am, I have a sister. So we're the only two grandchildren and I have two daughters and we're all females. And my mother's sisters couldn't have any children. I can't say wow. blame it on that, but once it's, that's it for us. So that, it moved me. It really moved me for that purpose. Champ, earlier uh, in the green room, you were giving us some statistics Yes. Uh, go over that with our audience. Yes. Some statistics that says 600,000 women a year get hysterectomies. So much so that now our women are starting to believe that this is hereditary. This is not hereditary. This is, this is preventable. If you think about what happened to our grandmothers back in the day, they say, I'm on my rag. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what that meant back then. But they was using cotton. They didn't have fibroids back then. They didn't have ovarian cancer, mm -hmm. cervical cancer. You never heard of these things. They call us the microwave babies. We want it right now, right now. We don't want to deal with it. And people are literally cap capitalizing off our ignorance. This is why this toxic and poison is in these products that now you've been using for 40 years and 30 years and 20 years. They come back, well, I don't know why. I don't know how you got fibroids. I don't know how you got such and such. But I know you need a hysterectomy. That's right. No. Mm -hmm. No, we can't do that to our women like that, you know? Wow. Give you a prime example, just not to okay. cut you off. Just think about the product, that baby powder. Absolutely. That's right. Look how long mm -hmm. all of us had baby powder mm -hmm. when us when we was little. Mm -hmm. But now they just come out a couple of years ago that it's toxic. It's it causes toxic. cancer. Absolutely. They knew. They know what they did. They still in the stores right now. It's about money. It's about money with these, these people. 
So tomorrow at the event, those who come will actually be able to purchase the bags? Yes, they, they actually are able to purchase the product. Also to understand the mission and the purpose behind the product. What is, what's the real foundation of it? So some of the activities that will take place will consist of? Um, well... Mr. Amin. All right. <laughs> he's going to he's going to he's going to explain and also do a, a live demonstration and have a, and so people can have awareness and understanding because this is his first time if I'm wrong speaking in Detroit. Yes, actually we're actually in wow, we're actually, got him right here at right WH. So, yeah. right so, right so this is his first time physically speaking and we're wow. in the city. I want it, I have a heart for the city. I'm a native of Detroit. I'm like, look, you got to come to the D. We built different here, so you got to be in the absolutely. We built what up, though? <laughs> <laughs> so he's here. We, we made it happen, right? Uh, and we want we want everyone to get involved, a part of this campaign. And we were so excited because when we got the call, we made it happen, and we're also going to really make it happen tomorrow because we're going to bring you back to the station. Wow. And as we're talking about demonstrations and the product and the movement, that the champ is going to be right here live and in living color actually doing demonstrations for you to see. We wow. don't want you to go by what you hear us say, but what you're going to see. Champ, give us an idea of what the demonstrations will consist of and why they should come down to the studio tomorrow to get this product. We're going to literally, literally expose the so-called, we I call them unsanitary napkins. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about layer by layer by layer. And I tell people, don't believe the chant. Google it. Right. But when you see it in your face, it's going to blow your mind. But I really want to just thank y'all for literally having me in the D, such a historical TV show and radio station. Absolutely. And I'm sitting there like, wow. You know, honestly, I'm, I'm humbled and honored at the same time because we're really getting ready to change the face of Detroit. And we are just excited to be part of that movement. And I certainly want to take this time to applaud our president and CEO, Mr. R.J. Watkins. Absolutely. And Mr. Henry Tyler. Absolutely. Absolutely. R.J. Because uh, <laughs> that's what this station is all yes. about, making things happen. When we say we are the people station, that we are your voice, that's what it's all about. That they not only say the words, but they put action behind Absolutely. those words. Yes. And that's what's happening here today. And for those of you who support this station, this is the kind of thing that we hope you take pride in of seeing that we certainly walk the walk and talk the talk. That's right. So, Champ, you're going to be right here tomorrow. I'll be right here tomorrow. You're going to be doing the <laughs> demonstrations. Yes. You're going to be bringing about awareness because that's what it's all about. Ms. Still, tell us again about the event tomorrow. It'll be at the pop-up shop on the Avenue of Fashion, mm -hmm. which is another historical place. Yes. Uh, it's going to be at 19410 Livernois Avenue. It's, the registration starts at 630. The actual meeting starts at 7 p.m. So I look forward to everyone coming out. You know, just and it quick. is a free event. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's a free great. event. Got That's Detroit. great. Free 95, free. Detroit. <laughs> free. free 95. <laughs> I know we don't have a lot of time, but I think it's so important. I was very impressed with not only the product, but the other uses of it. That, you know, when you talk about the target audience, women, but men. And right. I know a young lady today had a burn, and she took and actually applied the pad on her wrist. We don't we don't promote that. Let me tell you why. It it does what it does. Negative. Google the medical benefits of negative ions. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. But we want to make sure because we got to stay in compliance. Because believe me, when they see that we we're, we're category creators, okay. you think that those people are not going to try to shut us down. So we have to be very careful on what we say our product is. Our product is a sanitary napkin. Okay. What a person individually use these products for, that's on them. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's the only reason I want to be careful about okay. that because we are a minority-owned company, just like this station. Wow. Say that again. This is a minority-owned company. Inspire Network right. is a minority-owned company. We're going to be, no, no question about it, the next billion-dollar company. No questions about it. The number speaks for itself. The first day we opened our doors, May 23rd of this year, we made $2.1 million in less than 24 hours wow. because of our cherished premium sanitary napkins. So we have to be very careful because just like we don't want this station to shut down. We need y'all. Absolutely. We need the voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need the product. And this is why together... We're going to change lives with this Now We Know campaign. 
Wow. Okay, so we certainly want you to join in. Tune in at 2 o'clock tomorrow to see actual demonstrations of the product. The champ will be right here with us. We're going to give him a little bit more time. The champ is here. <laughs> um, and still, we have a group of people here in the studio with us, and we certainly, again, want to applaud the president and vice president of this station who said we Absolutely. are going to make this happen. When we talk about uh, wellness and health for our women, then we know that they certainly have a dedication and commitment to that cause. So, Champ, we salute you for your passion, for your energy, your dedication. Ms. Steele, we're looking forward to having a great turnout uh, uh, tomorrow at Livernois. And just as we close up, we just have a few seconds. Champ, close us out with a couple of remarks. I literally want everybody to know that you can go to nowwenow.net and get the information that we're talking about so you can see for yourself. But I want to personally thank you. you in a station because without stations like WHPR, Absolutely. we literally wouldn't have a voice because a lot of people are watered down. Let's keep it real. That's right. So we need y'all. So I'm just honored and happy to be out there and be in the forefront to lock arms with y'all in our campaign because we're literally going to help some a lot of people in this, in this world. Fantastic. Thank Ms. you Steve. for having me. Well, I just say I'm honored to be here. I thank you guys for making it happen in 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Literally 45 Literally. minutes. Literally 45 minutes. <laughs> but that's but that's Livernois tomorrow, 19410 right. Livernois Avenue. Registration starts at 6.30 p.m. The meeting actually starts at 7 p.m. Thank you again. And it is and free. Free, free, free. Free 95. Free, free 95. <laughs> and, of course, don't forget to lock it in tomorrow right here at 2 o'clock on WHPR TV 33 for live demonstrations with the champ. With the champ. The, the champ, champ is here. <laughs> <laughs> the champ is in the house. So we thank you so much for tuning in. And, again, we certainly hope that you will continue to support WHPR in its efforts yes. to truly make a difference in the community and don't forget we are your voice we are the people station we look forward to you tuning in tomorrow and again let's put our hands together give the champ a big round of applause thank you. Thank you. welcome Absolutely. him to the city and welcome him to whpr tv and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow two o'clock right here live in the studio if you think you heard something today oh boy like mr Watkins always says you haven't seen anything yet that's right so shout out to mr Watkins. Yes. salute all right see you then